Okay, hello, good morning. I am just back from yoga. I had a shower, washed my hair. My voice is annoying me because my nose is kind of blocked and I don't know if you can hear, but it's very like congested, very nasally version of my voice. That yoga class was so freaking good. I'm so happy after that. And I was outside, the wind was blowing. I was doing yoga. My endorphins are like up here. I'm so happy right now. Anyway, this vlog is going to be a little bit of a goal diaries, dream life diaries. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. But yesterday I finally figured out my goals for 2024 and for the first quarter. And now that I have a plan and I have like a set of action steps I can take, I'm going to do like little series. It's just weekly vlogs essentially but I'm gonna be focusing more on how I'm getting closer to my goal. So it's the same as like a little vlog, just a random vlog, but I'm gonna talk more in detail about like what I did today to get closer to my goals. Also, I'm not used to seeing my face like this because basically for the past month, I've been wearing concealer every single day and it's only been the last month. Like when I first moved to Bali, the first two months, I basically never ever wore makeup. I wore mascara a little bit, but I never wore skin makeup and my skin felt so good and then i moved to the other part of bali and i don't know what happened i don't know if some insecurities came up or something oh i think i was really really sick and i just like my sleep was all over the place because i had covid and i just looked so sickly i looked like a zombie so i started wearing concealer when i wasn't sick anymore just because like i looked like a zombie one week after i recovered and it got to that point where i'm like now i'm uncomfortable leaving my house if i don't have concealer here and i'm like no i don't want this like i'm very very happy to wear makeup i love makeup but i don't want to feel like i can't leave my house without makeup you know and i just know that a month ago i was fine not wearing makeup so we did a little bit of a compromise i'm still gonna wear my mascara and i'm gonna do my eyebrow gel but i'm trying not to wear skin makeup for a little bit to give my skin the space to breathe anyway i'm gonna meditate right now because you could see my energy's high we need to like use this good energy but ground myself a little bit and then the day is gonna start i'm saying the day is gonna start as if it's not 12 o'clock right now but whatever also yes my lock screen is a notion lock screen but can we just talk about it notion is dropping some huge update and they're like teasing it on their instagram and they're killing me i want to know i think it's cron cron is like their calendar that they bought a year ago sorry this is just for the notion <laughs> Love Notion with my whole heart. I literally recently switched to Cron about a month ago. So if it's a Cron integration, like a good proper Cron integration, I'm going to be so freaking happy. Okay, so I'm thinking that today I'm gonna start with one of my more fun goals because basically the system I laid out for myself for my goals is every quarter I have five main goals and the monthly goals are just broken down quarterly goals. So every single month I basically have five priority goals that I'm working on. But I feel like I always wanna try a lot of different things and I always want to pick up this hobby and do this and do this and this and this So I allowed myself one side quest per month to kind of try out new things and then see if I like them enough And if I do, I will add it to next month's monthly goal But basically a side quest can be like a project, a new hobby, it could be whatever It's just like a fun goal that I want to do that may not bring me closer to my dream life But it's just what me in the moment wants and I'm just honoring my current self Not everything is about my future self because there's only now, you know? Anyway, my side quest of January is to learn how to draw on my iPad because if you watch any of my goals videos for 2022, 2023, 2021, you will see one thing in common. I have been wanting to learn how to draw again for so long. I used to draw so much as a teenager and then I dropped it after I finished art in high school and I'm just, I'm always missing it and I've always kind of procrastinated doing it. But last year, my excuse was that I was traveling all the time. I didn't have a sketch pad, I didn't have pencils, but I have my iPod and I have a special little screen protector that feels like paper. I have my Apple like I should have no excuse so my side quest of January is to learn how to use procreate which is basically like an app that I was using to edit all my thumbnails and I know it's a really good app for drawings I'm currently learning how to use procreate properly on Skillshare who actually sponsored today's video so I'm using their procreate learning path to learn all the like details about how to use the different brushes and everything so if you've never heard of learning paths on Skillshare it's basically like curated class collections to get 
get you to master a skill. So what that means is that usually there's a lot of different courses that you can take, but Skillshare has now created learning paths where it's gonna give you the order of the courses you should do. So like if you're a complete beginner in something, it's gonna be like, okay, do this first and then this and then this because each course kind of builds on the other one. And that is insanely helpful because I feel like at the beginning of the year, a lot of people set learning goals for a new creative skill or a skill that's gonna help them in their career. And we get kind of lost because we're like, where the frick do we start? Like if we go on YouTube, there's just millions of resources. There's no structure. It's all different people recommending different things. Whereas on Skillshare, you have like a little class plan that you just have to follow. And you know that you can trust whatever is being taught to you because Skillshare courses are taught by industry pros. So if that sounds like something that would interest you, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. And the first 500 people who sign up with that link will get one month free of Skillshare so you can try it out. You also get to see the community because Skillshare has a really nice community. Under every single course, there are comments so you can chat with people, you can ask for advice, for tips. You can see what kind of projects they're working on as well because you can submit projects under the courses. So it's just the perfect place to get started on your goals. I would highly recommend. And once again, that is what I'm doing right now to learn how to use Procreate. So what I think I'm gonna do right now is I'm probably gonna watch like 30 to 45 minutes of my course, play a little bit with Procreate, and then we're gonna continue with our day. I have a very long day plan of just working on my goals. Let's start with the fun one though. Look at what I just learned to do. I don't know if this is how some people make filters, but whatever I draw here is on my face. You see that? I'm drawing and it's on my face. This is so damn cool. Wait, what if I want to be Avatar? A little smiley on my chin. Guys, this is so cool. I can just make myself Avatar. That's it, I'm never getting off this up now. <laughs> Guys, I have so much food. I didn't expect to have this much. I thought it was gonna be like little portions, but I have a lot of fruit, which actually, let me just show you. We have all of this fruit and also nazi goreng, which is literally just fried rice, but it's Indonesian fried rice. Basically, one of my goals for this quarter is completing 75 hard, which if you haven't heard of it, it's basically a 75 day long mental toughness challenge. It's There's a lot of fitness involved it's technically not considered a fitness challenge but it's kind of a fitness challenge it's basically just to improve consistency and discipline and there are five rules which I'm not gonna go too in depth into because I have made TikToks about this if you want to see like a very very detailed documentation of this process I am uploading everything on TikTok I'm also gonna make videos here but there's not gonna be that much detail. Like there, I'm uploading basically every day. So there are five rules. And if you don't follow one, you have to restart the challenge from the beginning. So today is currently day two. So I basically just started, but um, I mean, day one, I did really well. And today so far I'm doing pretty well as well. But basically for my nutritional plan of choice, I decided that for 75 days, I wanted to stick to 100% plant-based and 80% gluten-free food. The reason is 80% is because I would love to eventually cut out gluten of my life, but I feel like right now around me, there's a lot of temptations and 80% is already big, 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 big progress. Plant-based, I kind of wanted to switch back to eating plant-based. I had a moment in my life where I was eating plant-based for I think about a year and a half. And that was a long time ago. I've been meaning to switch, but this challenge pushed me. So yeah, anyway, I'm tracking all my meals on Notion so I can see how much I'm eating gluten-free and how much I'm not eating gluten-free. And the reason I I got this fried rice was because I was trying to find breakfast for myself and I just kind of accepted that I'm probably not gonna be able to have nazi goreng anywhere because usually it has chicken or fish or something and I know you can get the veggie version but I was like I can't know if there's gluten in it or not but I found this place that specifically said that this nazi goreng is gluten-free and plant-based so we're good. I mean, I don't know where the gluten would be in there, but you know, sometimes like gluten can be in soy sauce or something. So it's like, how can I possibly know for a hundred percent if there's gluten in there or not? But it said gluten-free in the menu. So every single day, two workouts, one outside, one inside, plant-based food, gluten-free food. And I also included two of my own bonus tips. I'm also including 10 minutes of silent meditation and 10 minutes of Wim Hof's breath work every single day. That's a bonus. Like if I fail one day at that, it's fine. But but I'm gonna try to do that every single day as well. Okay, I'm gonna eat my very weird mixture of fried rice and fruit. I'll eat one before the other because it's kind of weird, but it was a craving, okay? It was a craving.
I'm practicing my pronunciation right now because basically on Babbel they have two different Portuguese pronunciations like two different types of Brazilian pronunciations I think one is the accent from Rio de Janeiro and one is the accent from Sao Paulo but I could be wrong the way I start saying it now is gonna set a habit and I'm basically trying to figure out which accent I want but I don't know I don't know also I didn't actually talk about my Portuguese learning goal but this year was the first year in such a long time that I'm just choosing one language and I'm staying committed to one language for the whole year because every single year I chose like three to four languages I wanted to learn and obviously I never did because it's just too much and I couldn't handle it some people can but I couldn't and this year I was like you know what we're gonna stick to one and I chose Portuguese because I haven't actually really talked about this anywhere on my channel properly but I'm going to South America for a good couple of months in 2024 and i'm basically only going to the spanish-speaking countries and brazil which is a portuguese-speaking country and like for the spanish-speaking countries i'm set you know i know enough spanish to get by i'm quite comfortable but portuguese i don't know any portuguese i had a moment where i studied portuguese i don't remember anything so we're starting from scratch so yeah right now i'm just doing a lot a lot of babble and starting from next week or the week after i'm gonna start working with a tutor but for now i just wanted to give myself like a week or two of just like remembering what i had forgotten and stuff and figuring out which accent to speak with and stuff so if anyone here is studying portuguese or has studied portuguese as a non-native language obviously let me know how you decided which accent to learn because there's just so many i know i want to learn the brazilian accent rather than portugal's accent because i'm going to spend a long time in brazil i'm not going to spend a long time in portugal but it's just that the accents within brazil i don't know which one because even within brazil the accents are super different so yeah but i'm mostly between the sao paulo and rio de janeiro or wait there's proper names for them i think it's like carioca and paulista or something like that i don't know but uh yeah if you've studied portuguese let me know how you decided because i don't know know how to decide okay ignore the fact that i'm in a sweater it got very hot in my room all of a sudden because the sun was like going into my room even though the curtains were closed the heat was still coming and i turned on like the coldest setting on the air conditioner and now it's too cold so i'm in a sweater even though it's literally 35 degrees outside right now make it make sense but it is time to work on my main goals for this quarter which all have to do with social media i'll break this down specifically in my goals video but spoiler alert i'm already saying that like the main goal for this quarter Order is to be consistent on my socials because if you've been following me for a while you know that consistency on socials it's not something I can specifically say I've been good at and it's just because I get too much in my head and I start overthinking because if I don't post somewhere for three weeks or something I'll start overthinking the video because I'll be like okay well I haven't posted in three weeks so it has to be a good video whereas if I'm uploading like twice a week I don't think that much about like this has to be perfect I just do it and I get it out and I understand that it's it's always quality over quantity but there becomes a point where quality over quantity is just keeping you stuck and you're getting nowhere so at this point in my life genuinely I need quantity over quality not because quality is not important but because I have just gotten out of the routine of filming everything and speaking on camera and taking pictures of everything taking pictures of my day i have gotten out of the habit and then i'm like surprised that i have no content because i've gotten too harsh with myself of my content so i just stopped filming and then when i do film i make it such like it's such a high stress thing because i'm like okay this has to be perfect and i don't like that because i genuinely really enjoy the process of filming and editing and everything and i just like recently i feel like i'm getting so into it again but right now all i'm missing is action like i have so many ideas for videos i have so many different editing things i want to try like i love editing with my whole heart and for a long time i had an editor which is ari one of my besties i love her with my heart but i just recently realized that like truly editing is one of my favorite things and I feel like delegating that does not make sense at this specific 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 moment in my life Maybe in the future I would delegate it again But like right now I, I like for me that's the fun part of the creative process And I have so many ideas But the perfectionism is preventing me from getting them done Because as soon as I sit down and I'm like okay let's work on this I'm like girl you haven't uploaded in three weeks This better be an amazing video And then I set the expectation so high that it kind of It scares me to go into it And then yeah anyway basically the rate at which I'm doing these things is taking too long and I don't want to be that way I want to be one of those people that is like makes content in flow in ease like I just wake up and I'm like okay five stories make a tiktok film a vlog there are people like that and there are people that enjoy that and I used to be like that and I used to enjoy that and 
I know I still do, but it's as if like I need to get out of my head a little bit As if like I'm not even used to talking on camera anymore Like in the beginning of videos, I genuinely feel so awkward and I'm like, this is my job I've been doing this since I was 13 This is like my favorite hobby that I have and I feel like I forgot the base of it You know, like I haven't haven't been doing I've just been planning 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 thinking planning planning thinking writing and then when it comes to doing Nothing. My point is, overall, is that this moment in my life, this quarter at least, I need to focus on quantity over quality and consistency over perfection. So that is my plan. And if you want to know what that means practically, like what do I mean quantity over quality? For example, on Instagram, I'm doing a mini challenge for myself this month in January that I have to upload one story every single day. That story can be literally a random picture, but I need to upload a story every single day, at least one, because that way I'm gonna remember to take pictures of my day. I'm gonna remember that like, oh, this cute thing happened. Let me take a picture. Oh, let me take a selfie because I've literally gotten out of the habit of like taking pictures. Like my camera roll is half empty. I feel like I do so many things that I just take pictures of nothing when it comes to youtube it's about filming and editing a video even if i don't think it's perfect just getting it done and the first week of january i already kind of didn't do well in that department because i filmed two videos in the first week of january and i deleted them both but the point is i'm catching myself and i'm like okay no we're not doing that again and even if this video is not perfect i don't care because in this moment i'm being like fully honest and i'm just being fully myself and if it's not that interesting for someone that's okay and then when it comes to tiktok i i'm so late to the tiktok game i really want to be like a regular regular tiktok girl but i have not been but with 75 hard this is going to be kind of like easy because i just have to upload an update on 75 hard every day so it's kind of like a two-in-one goal but so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna edit one of my videos and this is kind of a side goal like this is just kind of i guess this is another one of like side quest goals even though earlier in the video i said i would only do one side quest goal per month but this is not really a site like it's related to consistency on social media but it's kind of like a side project but i want to set up my pinterest properly and post pictures because i have taken so many pictures which i think are very pinterest worthy and i've just not posted them anywhere not even on my own instagram like they're literally these beautiful pictures sitting in my camera roll minding their business and these pictures like i'm not trying to be like oh they're so pinterest but they're quite pinterest i don't know i feel like i want to set up my pinterest and i just need to start freaking getting into social media again because i don't know what's up with me how can i enjoy something so much and have the opportunity opportunities that I have like I'm I'm here this is my job like I, I'm living in Bali I have so many things to film I'm moving around constantly and just the one thing like my brain is just stopping me from showing it all and I feel like for like months and months and months and months I was so annoyed at myself about it and it pushed me back even more so now I'm just said I am fed up of being annoyed at myself I am going to do something about it I'm going to prioritize action over planning so this video is probably not perfect kind of look like a mess I'm kind of sick today but the thing is something over nothing always 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 that's what we're gonna do now i'm gonna edit this video for like an hour and then i want to make a little collection on tiktok of a couple like tips for setting up your pinterest i don't know like i don't know how to be like a pinterest person i have my own boards as in like i make vision boards on pinterest but i've never like posted on pinterest so i'm gonna spend like 30 minutes collecting some tips from tiktok because tiktok is a great place to collect those kind of advice and then i'm gonna work on my last goal in the evening but today has been a very goal-oriented day so that makes me really happy because I finally feel like I have been able to prioritize what is important to me and working on all these things makes me happy because I'm like I don't feel so lost in my day because I don't have a million goals to work on I have like my top five and we're getting them done you know so Hello, it is actually the next day. I was editing for a couple of hours and I was just so <laughs> tired. And then I just spent the evening going through my photos, looking at whatever pictures I could potentially post on Pinterest. I ended up having around like 250 photos that I think are Pinterest acceptable, Pinterest worthy, which is quite a lot. I, that's a lot more than I imagined. But again, <laughs> 
I don't know what I'm doing on Pinterest. Like for me, Pinterest is gonna be a whole new place. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this type of video. Let me know if you did like it. It's a more chatty one this time because I feel like it's like the first of this kind. So I'm kind of, you know, I was kind of chatty about my goals and what I'm trying to achieve and stuff. And like I said, there's gonna be an actual goals video coming where you're gonna get a lot more context. But because this was kind of like the first of this kind, I feel like it was a little bit extra chatty. But hope you enjoyed this kind of video. Let me know if you did and let me know what your goals for 2024 are i know it's like the second week of january but the thing is a lot of the times people set the goals in the beginning of 2024 and if they don't do what they wanted to do in the first week or two they kind of already give up on their goals but this is my little reminder to tell you that even if this, it's the second week of january the third week of january even if it's freaking march when you're watching this and you haven't set your goals for 2024 that is completely fine it is there's no rule that you can only start in the beginning of January, you know? So I had a very, very chill first week of January. I did basically nothing. And I only really started working on my goals in the second half of week two of January because the first week was chill. It was my birthday. It was very reflective. Second week, I was sick. So this is your little reminder that if you set your goals for 2024 and you didn't start working on them yet, it is completely fine. We are humans. At the end of the day, winter is a time when we're meant to be resting. This is not a natural season for us to want to become completely new human beings. Like if you follow your menstrual cycle or just the seasonal cycle of winter is a time for rest and reflection and spring is a time for new things and you know, becoming the new person that you want to be. And honestly, naturally, this is not the time to become a new person, but still the motivation is high so it's good to start but this is just a reminder to treat yourself with love and just because you weren't able to become a whole new person in one day that is completely fine this is a time where you're actually meant to go like deeper within listen to yourself reflect whatever sending love hope you enjoy this type of video and i will see you guys in my next video hopefully in a couple of days my 2024 goals finally making that video it's delayed but it's intentionally delayed so it's not actually delayed it's just postponed so <laughs> okay, bye.